before we get into today's video, I wanted to sit down really quick and show you what I got in the mail today. This is a surf wheel. Now before we get into all the hair stuff and everything like that, which I'm really excited to do as well, this is what I'm really excited for. I tested it out already. I would try these out. These are called learner wheels, but I don't have a screwdriver. I left all of my tools at my brother Chandler's house. I tested it out first. I did okay, but I feel like I can do better. I need to watch some tutorial videos. And I actually found some. I'll link those down below. I'm actually going to link this down below as well. And you can purchase one. And if you end up purchasing it, read all the information that they give you because it's not the easiest thing to do, but it's going to be cool to try this out some more, especially before we get today's video started. So I'm just gonna eat really quick and then I'm gonna test this bad boy out. All right, so Chan brought me a screwdriver from my tool set, it's at Chan's house. And I'm gonna be putting the trainer, like the trainer wheels on this bad boy. Kenneth is making some sandwiches. And we're gonna eat really quickly and then we're gonna go send it. Still like that. I think they used to talk, but I think Ken Thing's actually a little tough. I'm gonna try to turn on Chandler right now. Easy, easy, easy. And the way to get off, like, you <laughs> the way you get off, you like kind of like just like jump forward, but you have to like lean forward and it stops. Or you just jump for your life. All right, y'all, if you want to pick up a surf wheel, the links to everything is in the description. These things are really fun, especially I think the learning process is the funnest part. Still getting the hang of it. I took off the training wheels finally because, to tell you the truth, for me, they were getting in the way. I'm really used to skateboarding, so this is brand spanking new to me. And I feel like it was probably harder for people that know how to skateboard versus know how to surf or know how to snowboard. But this thing is fun. And I'm going to be practicing a little bit more. But like I said, click the link down below. What's up, y'all? You know what time it is. I'm going to a really important business meeting with my god. You guys know my son, Kellen. And you guys seen the video that just dropped. It actually dropped on... Thursday of us explaining our whole situation as far as him being my son and I'm be me being his dad and everything like that but in today's video I wanted to talk about how long he's been growing his hair uh, because it's similar to how long I've been growing my hair and it's really interesting to see the differences between his hair and my hair so there's a huge difference between the both of our hair with him being a full head of hair and me being a high top fade and me going through dreadlocks and him not going through dreadlocks him always having braids and me not having braids really. So there's a lot of things that are different between me and him when it comes to our hair. So it's interesting to see the length difference as well. You guys will see the difference. We're actually going to church like I said and he's meeting us there because his dad is dropping him off. Some of you are like, dude, I thought you were his dad. I am. So it's, just go watch that video, trust me. It'll answer some questions for you. But I'm most likely just going to hand the camera over to him when I see him. And then I'll let him talk to you guys about his hair growth journey and see. So, talk about my hair. I've been growing it for like four years now almost. Right now it should be like 14 inches. When I was little, my mom, my mom cut me bald. So we, and like doing that, she did not want me to cut my hair ever again. Cause I don't like when I have short hair. And so, when she cut me bald, did not like it. Now I have all this hair. Thank you guys for all, all of you who said you like my hair. It's been growing out for a long time, it takes hard work. And if you notice, my hair's been down usual. For summer, we're keeping it down, so the braids don't take away all my curls, so I can have them for school next year. For school, I'm gonna braid my hair, but I'm just keeping down for every summer, so that's how it's gonna be. Another funny story is, I did not like having my hair down when I was little. I thought it was the worst, because every morning, every morning, guys, I wake up, I would have to do my hair, it was so boring. My mom would never do it. I well, she would, but then she would tell me to do it, and I was like, no, cut my hair. So it's funny, because I'm an officer right now. I didn't like long hair, I like short hair, but now I hate short hair, I like long hair. So that's funny, pretty funny. Another reason I didn't like wearing my hair down is because every time we go somewhere, the cashier would be like, oh, you're such a sweet little girl. Like, I'm not a girl, I don't get it. My mom used to always laugh, because I'm literally dressed like a boy. I don't know any girl that dressed like me, it's kind of weird. All right, guys. But hopefully you guys got clearly this side of Kellen's hair transformation. You guys have already seen my hair transformation. It's all over YouTube. You can literally, I mean, if you are new, you can subscribe or 
you can just take my word for it. I mean, I do have, I think, either over or close to a thousand videos on basically my hair journey. So I'm not sure if you mentioned, but he has actually been growing his hair for over four years, just like myself. I started growing my hair in, I think, December of 2015. Actually, I think I cut my hair in November of 2015, started growing it out at the same time. I had a high top fade, and then I started growing my hair out since November of 2015. Today being July 10th, means that this February would have been four years. Whoa, let me take it back. I actually cut my hair in November of 2014, my fault. Because I cut it after my first semester in college, so it was November of 2014, not 2015, because I graduated in 2014. So this November is gonna be my five year mark. So that leaves us right here at four year and eight months of growing out my hair. And my hair is, I believe, 14 inches the last time I measured it. And obviously it's way shorter than what it ought to be just because, I mean, I put my hair through everything it possibly can go through. I got dreadlocks. Like that's the biggest thing you can put your hair through basically. Now, not only did I get dreadlocks, but I combed them out. Now the combing out process was the biggest thing that really just took a toll on my hair length. But I can say that I'm super glad that I combed them out versus actually cutting them because my hair would obviously be shorter now. And I would actually show you guys my hair length right now, but it is really curly. I washed it, I think, yesterday. And I have a video that I did recently of me actually measuring out my hair and kind of explaining the whole process behind that. That's why in that video I figured out that my hair was 14 inches. Kellen's hair, I don't even know how long it is. Like just based off the looks, I'm saying it's probably like 17, maybe even close to 20 inches. And with my dreadlocks, I think my dreadlocks were about 16 inches, but dreadlocks is kind of like two to three phases of hair growth. So all that hair that was at the tips of my dreadlocks were was most likely not attached to my actual scalp. So when I combed it out, I lost a bunch of hair growth. So when I combed my hair out, I lost a bunch of hair length than how my dreadlocks looked. Obviously because my dreadlocks hang down and my hair is very kinky, very curly. My hair is about a 3C and it stands up. It doesn't look long when I have it just normal. Now if I do a blowout or straighten my hair, it obviously looks long, but I personally just don't like doing blowouts and straightening my hair. It's just so much to take care of and I don't know how people do that when they have curly hair and they straighten it. It's just all over the place. But the interesting thing is that me and Kellen have been growing our hair for literally, oh, I wanna say literally, but basically the same amount of time. I'm pretty sure he started growing out his hair in November of 2014, along with me, which is crazy. If not, he did it in December or a month before November, but relatively the same time. So it's been like four and a half years, four and three quarters of a year. Whatever it is, it's been relatively the same time. And it's cool to see the difference between his hair length and my hair length, his hair texture, my hair texture, what he did to get his length, what I did to get to where I am. And you can see that they're polar opposites in what we chose to get here. And it's not like we wanted to grow our hair long, it just kind of happened. And like I said, him choosing just having his regular hair, you know, doing braids. He does braids all the time. This summer he's taken off from doing any braiding hairstyles. But I think the biggest thing is just staying away from braiding his hair really tight, giving his head a break. And that will promote hair growth as well, or healthy hair growth, just because there's not gonna be a whole lot of tension on his scalp, which is really good. And with me doing the dreadlock route, I wouldn't even call it a hair growth route because in the end, you are losing length. So it's kind of just like be patient with the hair that you have and that's the only really thing, that's really the only ingredient to growing your hair long is being patient. But in this video, I really wanted to show both the sides and see how interesting it is. I've actually done a video on this of me and Kellen when I had my dreadlocks of whose hair is longer. And at the time, both of our hair was at the same length. So I would say that our hair grows at the same rate, but I suffered a bunch of breakage and, you know, losing a bunch of hair in the dreadlocking process. So I unfortunately fell behind, but it's all good. I'm not in any race or anything like that, but it is cool seeing that not only me, but my son and actually my wife are on this hair journey of trying to grow our hair long and have healthy hair because Candace is trying to grow her hair out too. So it's really cool to be in a community or in a family that has the same goal as far as the way they look or the way their hair is. And overall, we just wanna be healthy. And our hair is a small part of it, but it's cool to relate on that level. But I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys are not already, please go subscribe to Kellen. He has a YouTube channel now and he's been growing like crazy. So be a part of that growth. And he has some really cool videos. They're actually really awesome. I'm sure all of you guys will enjoy it. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. And please don't forget to go check out Surfwell because I look like it's nighttime and I really can't wait to go try that thing again. And I'm going on a trip tomorrow, so I won't be able to try it in a couple few days, but I'm looking forward to coming home and 
killing the thing like I'm shredded I feel like I'm just like a surf master now but I'll leave a link to that down below but other than that hopefully you guys do have an amazing day matter of fact have a great day peace out and God bless